year of the Business Spotlight Rainbow Academy owners Jim and Karen Daniel, my favorite place. I'm going to turn this over to Trustee Geezer because he's been handling this and doing such a fine job. Thank you very much. Uh, throughout the year, we've been uh, honoring and spotlighting uh, different local businesses uh, uh, at our second meeting. And this week, we're honoring, this month, we're honoring uh, Rainbow Academy. And as the mayor said, it's uh, Karen and Jim. Daniel, thank you for joining us. And uh, could you share a little bit about your business for the, uh, for the residents who may not be aware? Okay, well, hello to everybody, and thank you for having us come here to talk about Rainbow. Um, some of you are familiar with Rainbow Academy, so I'll just go over some bullet points. Uh, Rainbow's been in Karen, Carol's can you stream. you turn that mic down a little bit? Maybe that'll help. <laughs> I'm not tall enough. <laughs> oh, there you go. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, just okay. like on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rainbow's been um, in Carol's stream for 33 years. Uh, we just celebrated 33 years in uh, last February. Um, a fun fact is some of the children that used to go to Rainbow Academy now bring their children to Rainbow Academy. So it shows you how old we are. Um, we care for uh, infants six weeks to uh, six weeks old uh, to children 12 years old. Uh, we currently have 290 children enrolled in the center. We have different programs, full-time, part-time care, before and after school care. We have a separate preschool program for moms who don't work and just need their kids to get ready for kindergarten and then uh, learn how to socialize. So that's, that's 9 till 12, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then another session on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and then within our preschool program, within, within our uh, full-time program, we have a preschool program. So all the kids are getting ready. I mean, the goal is to get them ready for kindergarten. So all of our teachers have to hand in lesson plans, and within the lesson plans, they have to include language arts, music, science, uh, math, social studies, fine and gross motor activities. Uh, as they get older, they learn how to print and, and start reading. Uh, our kids are very well prepared academically and socially, which is very important um, when they go to kindergarten. Um, we opened in 1983 uh, at County Farm and Army Trail Roads, and during the time we were there, we expanded four times, and then we got lucky and were able to purchase a piece of property and uh, build our own building, and that's the rainbow that we have now. Uh, we have 10 classrooms in rainbow. We have an infant, uh, we have two infant rooms, which is unusual for daycare centers. Usually they only have one, um, but we've learned from experience that um, once the babies learn how to crawl, you need to separate them because once they crawl, they crawl over everything, including other babies. So we have an infant room and a wobbler room, which are both infant rooms. And then we just go up by ages, toddlers, twos, threes, fours, uh, pre-kindergarten, and then our after-school uh, children. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have auxiliary rooms in the daycare center. Also, we have a children's bakery, um, a movie theater, a computer lab, and a gym. And then three years ago, because of our waiting list to get into um, the after-school program, we opened another room. It's not attached to Rainbow. It's uh, in the shopping center next door to us. And that's for the older before and after-school kids. And at first, we were a little worried about the logistics of having it separated. But it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened because we don't call it Rainbow Academy. We call it the after zone. And the kids helped. They voted on the name. Uh, we gave them a number of names to choose from. And they also voted on the new logos that went on the van. Because <clears throat> I don't know if you've noticed, around town we've had um, vans with, uh, buses with um, the rainbow, the, the rainbow on it with a little kid going down the slide. Well, when you get to be the big kids, uh, it's kind of embarrassing to say you're going to daycare and that you have to get on a bus with a uh, rainbow plastered on the side of the uh, bus. So now we have a cool logo. And they actually absolutely love it. It's, like it's an after school hangout. Um, and while I was thinking about you know, what we were gonna say to you all tonight, um, I just, it, it made me realize how blessed we are to have chosen Carol Stream to have our business. Um, not many places have a mayor that comes and visits at, uh, at Christmas time. He brings the biggest poinsettia, I think it's a poinsettia bush. It's huge, <laughs> I don't know where you get it from. 
But thank you very much. Thank you very much. I mean, he spends the time at Christmas. It's a busy time. And it kind of makes us celebrities because all around the daycare center, all the girls are going, Karen and Jim are talking to the mayor. You know, so it's kind of cool. So thank you very much um, for all that, that uh, the village has done for us. And Jim's going to say a few words. Thank you for having us. And uh, I just want to touch on a few things, what, uh, what the kids get to do at Rainbow. And it starts on a New Year's Eve when they get all gathered in the gym and they start the countdown to get going down and down. And once they get down to 12, the ceiling kind of opens up and all the balloons and confetti come falling down on them and they're jumping up and down and hitting the balloons back and forth. And then we celebrate with some apple juice. And uh, then we go for lunch because it's noon. We don't do this at midnight, we do this at noon. And then next month we is our Valentine's Day dance, which uh, we've been doing for years now too. And our staff is just fantastic. They help us in every which way they can. Um, when they start coming in around seven o'clock, the girls are dressed beautifully. They got their gowns on, they got some makeup on, their hair is done. And as they come in, you walk down the big red carpet and we got balloons, big arch balloons. And our staff is taking, up, you know, they're working the carpet and the uh, staff is taking a bunch of pictures. They go into the gym and that's where the boys and girls get together. And we have a DJ there and uh, he's there for a couple hours. And uh, so the kids all get together and they, they, got, they go out there and they, they, they call it dancing, but uh, I don't, <laughs> not, not too close to that. Um, then in the springtime, we have a 50 by uh, 30 foot space that we use for gardening. And we get the garden all ready to go. The kids come down and they plant the garden and they kind of watch it grow. They're not good at weeding, but when it comes to the harvest, they go down and they pick it and they're able to bring it back home, or we use our cook will open it up and you know, use it for lunches. Um, uh, after that, we have Pirate Week. It was a great time for me, uh, my favorite week. <laughs> the, whole, the whole daycare center transformed. The, the Captain Blood has come and taken over the daycare center, and they got the Jolly Roger flags and pirate flags and maps, all this thing is going on. We set sail every day uh, to find the gold, and uh, we have an uh, eight-foot tr uh, trailer that we make into a pirate ship, and it's motorized by our uh, lawnmower, our riding lawnmower. So at the end of the week on Friday, everybody gets dressed up, and they're in their pirate outfits and everything else like that. And um, we go and we find the gold. And uh, like pirates, we uh, divvy it up amongst ourselves a little bit, and then we bring some of it back. Uh, kids have a great time at doing that. And uh, I'm getting a little hoarse here. Uh, we have a wonderful summer camp uh, where the kids, uh, we have seven summer camps. And uh, most of the time the kids are either at the Carroll Stream pool, they're out on field trips, they're uh, wild west towns, they go almost everywhere. And there's a group that always stays back and they have the opportunity to enjoy it. We have a 23 foot um, water slide that empties out into a pool. We have three different types of uh, slip and slides. Uh, at noon, the cook comes out and he grills them either bratwurst, chicken, hot dogs. We even grill pizza. And uh, after that, the kids will start to cool down with, uh, they'll get some ice cream or something and go inside and watch a movie in our movie theater. It, it's really, it's, Rainbow's more like a uh, country club for kids. It really is. And I could go on and on and on. Uh, Christmas time, our biggest time, uh, we transform Rainbow uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Thousands and thousands of lights inside, outside. Uh, Santa Claus comes, um, and our kids are so into Santa Claus, they have lists a mile long, so it takes Santa Claus two days to go through our daycare center. <laughs> um, and it's funny because we were getting set up for Santa Claus, and we've done this year after year after year, and when Santa Claus comes, the faces on the kids are just remarkable. I mean, it, it, it's so precious. So I was talking to our director, and I said, it's too bad the parents can't see this. They're all off at work. And about a half hour later, she comes back and she goes, you go to this website, you key in this password, and we'll be streaming live. I mean, that's our, that's our, our, our people. And uh, so we sent out an email, told all the parents, and uh, that day, 650 people viewed us. It was, you know, the parents, the grandparents, the aunts, the uncles. And uh, it's just, it's just, and we're just happy, we're very blessed to uh, be here in the village and uh, talk about a good business. We appreciate it, thank you.
Well, thank you very much. Does anyone on the, the board want to say something? Well, I've, see, I've known you guys now 93? <laughs> yeah. I think it was 93 yeah, when that. Shannon went there, and then Colin went through it also. You guys have always been like that. I mean, it, it, wonderful things you do, but it, it's nothing new. I mean, even when you were in the old, you know, the old building, the kids would look forward to going there. I mean, it was never, oh, I got I to gotta go to daycare. It was, let's go. Yeah. And, and we'd walk in the door, and the kids would take off. And uh, we had one of the boss. kids. We had one of the kids. Every uh, they put on a talent show during the uh, summer camp too, and they write on it what they like about Rainbow. One kid put on there. It's like a play date every day. I get to hang out with my friends, and I thought that was the coolest thing to hear from one of the, you know one of the kids. It was pretty cool. And, and the one thing I think both Rick and I want to thank you about is since we've been doing the parade every single year, you guys have supplied your buses and a driver at no cost to us to help with the parade. And you don't understand how, how much that helps us. That, that is actually a huge weight off our shoulders because it can get, as you know, it can yeah. get very expensive with busing. So yeah. I, I do want to say thank you very much for that also. Yeah. Well, we used to enjoy being in the parade, but the parade got a little too long for so, you know, the heat and some of this, these kids are standing out there so long and stuff like that. Just really request to come in earth, get, get in front of the line. <laughs> yeah. we, we, know, we know a few guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got this parade chairman right here. You can move right behind the fire trucks in front of me. There you go. Because they're gone. I do have to say one thing. We had, um, we just had uh, police and firefighter and uh, paramedic appreciation week not too long ago. So we cooked up chili. We had served chili all day because they could come in whenever they wanted to, and they could come in. Um, so we had the, the chili. Oh, sorry. We had the chili, and uh, and naturally we had donuts. No offense, but we had lots of donuts. So, um, <laughs> so they came in during uh, all all day during the day, and our kids were so excited. And we wanted. They're more familiar with the firefighters because we have fire Pre prevention week, and um, we go and visit the fire department. They don't see the police officers as often. And we wanted them to realize that you know that they're friendly. They're there to to help us. Um, so they they got their they made their little badges. They made their hats, and the older kids uh, practiced reading. Um, they had police and fire books that they were going to read to the policemen and firemen when they came. And um, but the end of the day, that was hysterical. It must have been the end of a shift. And they all decided to come at the same time. So we had all these emergency vehicles. You know, you figure the whole front of Rainbow. And we had fire trucks, um, squad cars, and ambulances. And what did the kids want to see? They wanted to see the lights and hear the sirens. So they obliged them. We had every single one going. I can only imagine what the people on uh, Coon Road were thinking. Um, but it was really cool because the, the police officers and the firefighters all got to hang out with the kids. And then as the, it was at the end of the day, so our parents were coming too. And they hung out. So we just ate, stayed out there and ate chili and, and donuts and, and, and hung out. So it was, it was a cool thing. It was so hmm. I had a point, but I don't remember <laughs> what my point was. I think, I think what the point was is that you guys give back a lot to our community. And thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. That, thank that's you. really, really a cool thing. And I'm sure the parents pulling up and seeing all that after their hearts started yeah. again <laughs> thought it was probably a really cool thing, too. Yeah. Well, they couldn't get into the front of the parking lot. They had a park on the side, so they, they could, I can imagine what was going through yeah. their heads. But it was awesome. It was great. Well, you were, you're thanking me, and I have to thank you, because there's two things sitting up here as mayor that are most important to me, the young people and the old people. And you take a really good care of the young people. And I want to thank you for that. If you, I, I didn't realize that Matt's two children went there, but they're both wonderful young people. So thank you for what you do. And, uh, we had, a, we had a, uh, a, a guy came in to Rainbow well, about four or five months ago, and he was, uh, he was selling uh, the uh, fire safety for the sprinkler systems and this and that, and we have Fox Valley. So he comes in, he wanted to talk to me and Karen, and he was the first kid to ever go through Rainbow in 1983. So he came <laughs> in and wanted to know if it was total fire, and he said, would you want to go with total fire? Well, guess what? We're with total <laughs> fire. Right? There's not much you can do about it. But it, I don't know, he had to be 38, 40 years old himself. Yeah, we take care of both sections. We're the, we're the old. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, the old. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We thank do you appreciate very it. Thanks thank for coming you. Thank you very much, and thanks for all you do to the, with the community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's like a partnership. Thank you. <laughs>